What's up guys, my name is Matt, this is Hidden Light, and today we're doing something a little different. You are going to join me for the process of making a 40 by 60 Platinum Palladium print. Uh, today we're printing for Tyler Shields, and we've got a really cool image. I'm not going to show it to you yet, you have to wait and continue watching the video to see what it looks like. Um, but we're going to go through the process today. The negative is finished, which all you have to do is like watch it come out of the printer, so that's not very interesting. Um, but we're going to mark up the paper, we're going to coat it uh, with the emulsion that we're going to mix, and then you just kind of get to follow us through the whole process. Rather than doing just a smattering of B-roll, I'm going to try and slow down a little bit so that you can sort of join us and follow along and whatever. So I've got here my oversized sheet of paper. It has been in 40 to 50% humidity overnight which is super crucial for these really big prints. I need them to have a good amount of humidity in them so that they absorb the emulsion basically at a constant rate. So uh, I've got this squared away on my very complicated cardboard backer um, set up here. We'll warm up the bulbs here for five minutes. And then after that, we can start mixing our emulsion, which is gonna be, uh, I think we do 20% platinum uh, 80% palladium mix for these images. So we'll get that sort of going and then uh, we'll be able to get this in the UV exposure box. But first, warm up the bulbs. So uh, make sure everything's on, get the bulbs kind of warming up, getting going for the day, and uh, we'll mix the emulsion in a minute. Excuse me, two inches top and bottom. Stay. Not gonna stay. <laughs> I'm so graceful. Six. Okay, bulbs are nice and warmed up, and it's time to mix our emulsion. Now, uh, 40 by 60 is a lot, and I tend to over mix my emulsion so that if for whatever reason, and I need, if I need to do like a partial recoat or continue the coat or overcoat. I have that ability without having to stop everything and remix. So um, we're going to do 50 milliliter emulsion, which is going to be lovely and take approximately forever. So yeah, rock and roll. 30. Let's do a couple of hydrogen peroxide. One, two, three. Okay, now's the scary part, coating this monstrosity. Uh, I have my very wet brush, my very large, whatever this is, six inches plus brush, uh, which makes everything so much easier. And then what I'm actually gonna do is pour my emulsion into a tray so that I can dip the brush and coat. Uh, I don't usually do this, but when they're this big, I don't have a long enough wingspan to reach the edge of them and still clear the table. And I don't like leaning over stuff like that, so it's easier for me to coat it vertical like this. Um, so I will transfer my emulsion here to my tray. Beautiful. That's expensive. And uh, to get my groove on, get into the mood, get into the mood. I'm gonna put on some music because this is expensive and I don't wanna screw it up. So you'll have to forgive my music that we are going to cut out of this uh, because of copyright problems. Look at that! That was good! Now we turn off the lights and get out of here. So that it can dry in the dark for a while. Let's get some on it. Too much 
screen, I guess. That's why. Tyler Shields, what's going on? You coming at me with the insults this early in the morning? I mean, I'm not trying to insult you quite yet. Shit. Was it 8x10? It's 8 by yeah, does it not look no, good? Okay. Well, no, I was just basing it on the size of the hairs in the skin. Um, oh, interesting. But I'm doing a little uh, lab time video, and uh, I just wanted to know what you shot it on so that I can explain it. Amazing. And not do so, it wrong. 8 by 10 um, Sinar. Oh, very nice. This might be the first time I've ever taped this paper to anything. Lift it, separate. <laughs> It's okay, stupid wire. Yeah, it's just gonna like. Yeah. I'm gonna switch hands. Yeah. Yeah. Just relocate. Good. Yeet. And then we'll come my way a wee bit. Kind of ballpark line it up. Yeah, oh, ballpark yeah. center yeah. this. Mm. We got plenty of overcoat. Pretty close. Let's try it. We'll just keep it in the air as long as we dare. Yeah. You got nice big arms. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> oh yeah, plenty of room. completely dry sink tray thing to lay the print in because if it touches water before it gets developed the world ends and you ruin the print. Um, so I gotta dry out the newly cleaned sink so that I can lay the print in and then we can develop it. Time for chemistry. Um, I keep several gallons of this developer on hand in smaller containers so that I can mix and match and use them for the small regular size prints that we do all the time. But now I need to combine all of those developers into one larger container which got it, it'll end up having some new, some old, and that's just the way we do things. Unless there's a specific request for an all new developer, whatever. So. What we're gonna do now is uh, hopefully not ruin my clothes too bad and mix. So, little baby, little baby itty bitty bit. For smash. Okay, one more, one more. And of course most of these used. That's a feature. Good. And then we'll flip it over so that we're facing the other way. Yep. Beautiful. It's upside down. Yes. Yeah. Skinny. I'm out of my way. Here we go. Good. Back my way. Scoosh. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. We're gonna do a one, two, three. Hoo-wee! So, uh, clearing that, we, just like with the developer, we turn the entire sink into a tray by clogging the drains with the plumbing stuff. And that lets me either keep or hold 
discard or reclaim my chemistry. So this is a clearing bath, pulling out all the unexposed nastiness. And uh, we'll do two baths probably of around 15 minutes each. Make sure we get a nice good clear and then a nice long wash, which will be six to eight water changes over the course of about 90 minutes. I really don't want to under clear this and I don't want to under wash it. So we go a little bit overkill, which doesn't hurt you. As long as you're not bleaching out the print, you're in a great place. Uh, my clearing baths are 10 gallons a piece and we used about four gallons of developer. As far as, as far as how the sink is built, um, what I'm using to rotate it or agitate it is basically just a, a Home Depot like adjustable height bench that we took the bench off. And so the sink obviously isn't secured and I can raise or lower one end of it as I see fit. And then when I get lazy, I'll switch to a power drill rather than this all afternoon. Final step, just doing the wash. And uh, then we'll roll it up, take it outside, lay it up to dry. And then tomorrow we'll have a big, beautiful, flat, finished, dry print. So now I'll just hang out wash it like you do. So it's a whole new day. The print is dry. It's time for us to get some spotting done, give it a good once over, put it in the mat board, put it in the frame, then we're ready to deliver to California, which we don't always deliver, but for something like this, move well. So let's uh, get our spotting done here. Just move these lovely ladies. Holy moly, this thing is big.
That looks so fucking good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> outside. Outside. Mm -hmm. Outside. Outside. <laughs>